Uh, so we've been called out to this house in Pickering Brook for this death hour. Um, quite a residential street with bush across the road, which is I'd say where he's come from. As you can see, even with a camera pointed directly in his face, he is extremely chilled out. Uh, no sign of aggression whatsoever. Casually, as you like, just moving his way along. Um, so now it's basically just a matter of picking him up on the hook, which will demonstrate how easy it is to pick these guys up, chuck him in the bag, and take him on his way. Uh, obviously, as usual, we do not recommend anybody who hasn't had any experience touching these. Um, so here we go. It's nice and simple. Let him run through the hook until he gets about midway. Pick him up. Hey everyone, hopefully you can see this, uh, my head torch is dying, so we've only got a little bit of light, um, here is the death adder release, um, just caught him from Pickering Brook, taking him not too far away, and as you can see, I'll put him on the road here just to give you a bit of an example. as relaxed as anything, um, just slowly making his way across the road. Luckily we are on a back road right next to some bush, so there isn't much danger of any cars coming past. Even with the camera maybe two inches from his face, barely even flinching. Um, I have just taken some photos of this guy as well, so he's been handled a little bit. Even besides that, still just really, really chill out. Very typical of wild death adders. Obviously, I do not recommend trying to pick these guys up or move them on your own if you do come across one. Uh, very, well, they are the fastest striking snake in the world. Um, you wouldn't think it looking at this short little stumpy body. A little bit of a tiny tip of a tail there. And uh, just how relaxed they are. One wrong move though, you piss it off in the wrong way, and it's going to be a nasty, nasty bite that you don't want to risk. Always give someone like us a call. And I'm finally getting into the light bit of my car, so we might be able to see him a little bit better. Um, and one thing I do want to show you is the tip of their tail. I'm not sure how well it's going to come up in the video. They have what's called a caudal lure. Ambush hunters. So they sit. I'll turn that off there. Make sure I don't want to get some bit more light. So the ambush hunters, they sit in leaf litter and they wiggle this little worm like thing on the end of their tail. Uh, looks like a little worm or a grub or some sort of bug that something like a, a mouse or a rat or some sort of lizard might eat. And they sit there and wiggle it, wiggle it, until something comes along. That's when they strike. They only really come out on the roads just to warm up if they do need to hunt or if they're looking for water. Which is uh, how this guy got in someone's house tonight. Uh, they live right across the road from a decent patch of bushland where these guys are found, so it's not really much of a surprise. They are very, very uncommonly seen though. And he seems to be going around in a big circle because they're coming back to the road. So we'll just uh, move it back on the other way here. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Can we go that way? And hopefully once he gets in this big beam of light up here, you can see his tail properly. First time using this camera, so I have no idea how well it's going to work. I won this one in a competition with JB Hi-Fi. A little bit of a shout out there. Feel free to give me more free stuff. I highly doubt that will happen, but you never know. Being a long video, as you can see, he's really taking his time just to move. Even with the presence of a camera right in his face and being somewhat handled. Just a really, really relaxed animal. Stunning looking critters they are too. I absolutely love these guys. Keep three of these guys myself as pets. And finally making his way to some bush. Just give me a little bit of a nudge here. Just to hurry him up a bit. 
the guy. He's getting the rig on. Get the eye away from the road, buddy. You always see with the colour how they blend in. Nudging, he's uh, still taking his time. So we're just pushing a little bit further into the bush away from the road. Make sure he goes in the right direction. I might let you go from a couple of weeks ago. from the road now.